Katie Lush, and I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos, and really pleased to be joined by Aaron Gonju, co-founder and CEO of Room to Read. So tell me a little bit about your thoughts on literacy, education. What have you heard at Davos? Well, we believe at Room to Read that world change starts with educated children. You know, one of the big topics here is inclusive growth. And I believe, without a doubt, that education is a great equalizer. You know, there is nothing more powerful than educating children, letting them grow up to be responsible, active citizens that can create the solutions that are going to change the world, whether that be in the environment, ending poverty, gender parity, all of these things require healthcare, strong educational systems. So what are you doing at Room to Read about that? So we work in uh, 10 countries in Asia and Africa, and we're really working alongside the government, in the government schools, improving the quality of education. The real issue in the world is that 250 million children, or 40% of the primary age uh, school going students, have black basic literacy skills. Um, half of them will probably drop out by fourth grade, and they will never be able to catch up, and the cycle of poverty will continue. So we're working to help improve teacher professional development, new materials, and create a revolution of having quality schools in every local community. What's some of the um, success that you've had? Well, it's really exciting that what we do in our world is we're obsessed about metrics, mm -hmm. benchmarks, KPIs, all the things that are you know, right. important to any, any well-run organization. And we measure how many um, words per minute do children read in their local language. You want to get children to uh, 45 to 60 words per minute for fluency. Mm -hmm. And we've been able to show across our 10 countries that in Room to Read uh, schools with our program, they read significantly more words per minute than government schools without our program. So we're really helping to see a revolution around getting back to the basics in education. What keeps you up at night? Definitely, it's difficult with all of the local talent development. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of the countries we're working in, in Africa and Asia, we're really competing for talent, mm -hmm. as is everybody. And so it's attracting, retaining talent through a great organization. We're a purpose-driven organization. So I think, you know, our um, competitive edge is that you can come and change the world when you're mm -hmm. working with Room to Read. Um, and of course, we're also really trying to drive resources into this space. Um, we want to you know, partner with the government, with the public sector, um, the private sector, and really find ways to change education. But it's going to take a lot of financial commitment to do that. Aaron, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion thank here you. in Davos, and I'm Edith Lush.